Hi everyone, welcome back. Looking at this question, everything we do with Pythagoras has had two numbers and we find out the other number. Two systems, but two numbers, we find out the other one. This one's different, I've got an x here and a 2x here. By the way, if you don't understand x and 2x, all we're saying is whatever that length is, this will be twice as long. So if you wanted to, you could do a two right angle lines and get 10 metres across and try to figure out what the answer is. So much nicer to do it with algebra. People say, where do we use algebra? Where do we use equations? Here's where it is. Do a lot of people have that in life? Probably not that many, but there's plenty to do. So the formula, if you have a non-think, what I call the non-thinking approach, you write down the formula. Now, some people watching this video, I know from my class, will do it without the formula. But it worries me when it gets to this question because I think it mucks people's brains up. So let's have a look what's happened. That one is definitely the hypotenuse, no choice about it. Nag one more time. How can you tell us the hypotenuse? It's the longer side and it's also opposite the right angle or across from the right angle. Sometimes I say to classes, it's almost like that's pointing to the hypotenuse. Another way you can talk about it is the hypotenuse doesn't touch the right angle. So this one comes to and goes to the right angle, and this one comes to and goes to the right angle. So that's got to be 10 squared. Now if you wanted to, you could have written 100, but I'll leave that there for a moment. Now it doesn't matter which one I write next, I'm going to write that one next as x squared. Now here's where people go wrong. It's almost like there's a bracket around that. So when I go over to here, if I wanted to, I could write 2x times 2x, but what do most mathematicians do? They don't write 2x times 2x. They put a bracket around all of it and put a square. What we put the bracket for is this isn't going to stay a 2, it's going to become a 4. So I do it long, for those who need it long ways. There's x squared, and this is now 2x times 2x. So if I, I talked about it, when I was at school I'd get stuck and I'd write it out in full. So instead of going, I know what that is, and a lot of students will go, well, that's 2x squared, and they're instantly incorrect. And the reason they're incorrect is that 2 times the 2 will become a 4. So we're back to 100, we're back to x squared, and now we've got two 2s of 4, and we've got the x squared. Now, some ways I don't want to say we've got an equation we're solving, but I need to say it. Because people are always saying, why do I have to learn how to solve equations? This is one of thousands of cases. Now, by the way, now we're at what we call click-like terms. I've got 1x squared and 4x squared makes 5x squared. And I get 100. So I'm going to swap that around. Keep talking about we creatures of habit. We normally put the x on the left hand side, so I've just replaced them, swap them around, because my brain is used to seeing x here. When you're confident, you don't need it. Between the 5 and the x squared is a multiply. Just remember in maths, whenever a number and a letter are written next to each other, or a letter and a letter, there's always a multiply in between. And the opposites, I talk about the opposites to both sides. The opposite of times by five is divide five and divide five. And I keep saying to people, do not write it this way, because when the questions get harder, do not write divide that way. The shortest, simplest, quickest method is to write it as a fraction bar and that fraction bar means divide. Let's have a look what we've got now. Five into five goes once. So if I wanted to, I could write one x squared, and five into 100 goes 20. Then I'm left with, I don't have to write the one, and sometimes that throws people off. The opposite of the square is square root. So when they say, what's the opposite of the left? Most people say right, opposite of the up, they say down. Opposite of the multiply, they say divide. Opposite of a square is a square root. So if I take the square root of this side, I take the square root, I take, I use, not take, I use the square root of both sides. So the square root gets rid of the square, and there's the answer to the question. And again, if I had that in metres, that's what we call the exact answer. Now, a lot of times you can leave it as an exact answer, especially if the question didn't tell you the right decimal places. Then you put it in your calculator, and we get 4.472 and more numbers if you wanted to, metres, and if that was the case, I've done it to three decimal places. Remember, a lot of people will write it as one. A little bit inaccurate, especially this question. If I write it as two, I cover over the two. Is it closer to four seven or is it closer to four eight? So that's a little number, so it's closer to four seven. So I could write that answer as 4.47 metres, and I could say that's two decimal places. Of course, if I wanted to write it to one decimal place, that would become closer to four or five, and become 4.5 metres. 
and probably in most cases that's a bit too rough. If you're finding this helpful, what you can do to support me is you can press like, press that like button, and in any video you watch of mine, if you can press like, and the other thing you do is press subscribe. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers. YouTube takes no notice of me basically unless I've got a thousand subscribers and if I've got lots of likes. So the more likes I get, the more the computer generates it, the more people see my videos. Thank you.